Impact and Ironworker Health and Safety Roundtable is in Ann Arbor, and it's a fantastic meeting of industry stakeholders like management, safety, labor, etc. Uh, it happens twice a year, and it's a really good way for us to get a pulse on what's going on in the industry so that we can uh, know how to best focus our efforts. If you're interested in attending the meetings, reach out to safety at ironworkerinternational.org and get on the meeting distribution list. The importance of a meeting like this is really to network. Uh, we have the Boilermakers here today with the ironworkers and there is, you know, there is differences in the trades and what they do, but there is some uh, cases where we're working together and, and really we're a team, we're a team of people uh, working together to a common goal. We focus on people first, you're usually going to do the right thing for safety. Um, and that's what we're trying to get the entire industry around is we're doing this for the people. I think it's very important that um, iron workers themselves, if they have an interest in safety, to get this training that's offered because generally on a job site, from a um, owner's perspective, they want to have someone in the trade that's a representative of safety. And what better person to have an iron worker themselves have the iron worker safety director training so that they they're, uh, have the knowledge and awareness of the hazards that are pertinent to their job. As we start to see the type two helmets being integrated more and more, I think it's a really good reminder that we're always evolving. It's important for us to really embrace this new practice because other trades literally look up to us and this is our chance to set that precedence. About 25% of deaths in construction are traumatic brain injuries and iron workers work at heights. And so if we can really get them to um, get behind wearing these helmets, um, the Type 2 or EN12492 or other ones that they feel are uh, more specific to their work with the four-point chin straps, um, doing everything we can to try to be proactive and be preventative for um, any potential for those type of incidents. I hope that we're doing um, safety more collaboratively. Um, I hope that it's a lot more proactive working around how do we get it into the pre-planning and the operational stages of the construction and the things that we're doing and um, not focusing on finding the things wrong but focusing on planning out and eliminating the hazards before they ever even begin on our project sites. <laughs>